going on it's jack here now this is going to be a bit of a rant i know uh it's been a little bit since i've done a like an actual you know tutorial an actual uh what's it called like a tactical video on amazon yeah it is coming don't stress but um i've just wanted to do a video on you know what i had my thoughts on and i'm just laying in bed at the moment i'm in melbourne for pax if you guys didn't know and i'm just gonna lay out and reel out some thoughts that i've that i've had um, just while I'm laying here, I'm actually quite tired. I woke up pretty early this morning and, uh, you know, hit the gym and had my breakfast and all that. And I've been at, at the at the PAX event for, yeah, definitely over six hours. So it's, um, I'm pretty tired. I'll probably get some dinner and then maybe head to sleep. It's about 6.37 now. Uh, maybe in like an hour or so, I'll, I'll get some dinner and go to sleep. I'll see. We'll see what's going on. But Today, you know, in this video, what I want to talk about really, and I actually caught myself, you know, um, thinking about it and caught myself, um, you know, thinking in the, I guess, in the wrong frame of mind um, when it comes to this stuff. But it's really about uh, not taking, you know, the opportunities that you have for granted and not taking, you know, just all of this, uh, just, you know, not taking your life for granted because... I, and, you know, I'm really, um, trying to come down hard on, on, on this whole, on this whole, you know, mental sort of, you know, mental game when it, when it comes to the way I think and when it comes to, you know, I'm very, very strict on my thoughts these days and it has really helped me in terms of business, in terms of, you know, making relationships. My inner circle has gotten smaller and, uh, it's really, um, it has helped me. It has helped me in my life for sure. So, I'll just, I'll just, you know, re reel off what I was thinking about. The first thing that comes to mind was I entered in a, in a console tournament and uh, it was a console tournament on the PlayStation 4 for Rocket League and I, it was at, it was at about 2 p.m. and I wanted to get some merch, to get some PAX merch and the line was quite long so I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll put it, I'll get into the line now. It was like just before 12.30, that's how long the line was. It was like an hour and a half, two hours, you know, I, I probably thought it was, was only going to be an hour, but I, I got in the line and I waited and I was by myself, so I didn't have anyone to talk to um, at the time because I hadn't met anyone there yet. So I was just chilling by myself in the line on my phone and, you know, just just um, chatting to people on my phone and whatnot. And then it was probably about, uh, you know, it, the line would slowly, slowly go through and and it was getting to about, uh, you know, got to about one o'clock and I'm like, all right, sweet. I've still got an hour left. Got to about, uh, you know, quarter past and then one thirty. I'm like, okay, uh, it's getting a bit close because I didn't want to miss this, this, um, this console tournament. And I was getting fidgety because I was standing for so long and, you know, my back was starting to hurt and blah, 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 all this. I was, I was thinking all these, um, I guess you could call them negative thoughts. I don't, I don't really have too many negative thoughts, but... I was basically, um, you know, I was waiting in line, I was getting, I was getting, you know, really fidgety and all that, and I was, you know, it got to the point where I was about three quarters way uh, into the line, maybe even a bit further, and it's got to swap arms, actually, I'll just hop up, oh. so yeah, it got to about, got to about, um, yeah, three quarters way through the line, and I was, I'll see if I can, actually, there we go, oh, my arm's just getting a bit sore, but I want to lie down. There we go. But yeah, we got to about three quarters way through the line and it was, yeah, it was about half an hour, 20 minutes now that it was, um, that it was, you know, uh, that I was in the line and I was just thinking to myself, like, you know, I'm going to miss this, I'm going to miss this tournament, I'm going to miss this PAX tournament and I, I won't be able to go into it and, you know, should I hop out of the line and come back later? I'm like, no, I don't want to come back and hop into this line and, st you know, stay there for two hours again because... The line was like that for the whole day and I didn't want to miss out on getting merch either. So it got to about that point and I'm like to myself, what am I even, what am I even worried about? I'm literally, I'm complaining within my own head to myself saying that, you know, I'm going to miss it and, you know, I'm going to, it's going to be wasted and, you know, I should just jump out of the line and all these negative thoughts. And then I, I, I caught myself on it and I'm like, hang on a second, instead of complaining to yourself about all the bad stuff that's happening, why don't you look at it in a different direction? And, you know, I thought to myself, look, I get to go away to a PAX event. I get to have my own leisurely time. I get to, you know, I'm not 
I'm not on the clock on someone else. I can I can be at this event. I don't have to be at this event if I don't want to. I'm in the line and I'm waiting and you know I um I I've got time to do these things and I can go and get merch and if I miss the tournament, I miss the tournament. Who cares? I can go and do something else. There's other events on or I can go into the Melbourne city. I can go and do something in the city. And I really thought of it in a different light and I started you know bring myself out of that that whole you know all these you know oh you know all these bad thoughts and you know what's wrong with the situation I brought it to what's right with the situation so it got to about the end of the line and they were letting in you know people say five to ten people at a time so they could have a look at the merch and then there was a line to pay so I got my stuff really quickly I already knew what I wanted so I got my stuff and I jumped in the line and I started thinking more about you know, how lucky I am to be able to do this stuff and, you know, how, um, you know, and, and it might seem silly that I'm, that I'm talking about this kind of thing, but it's these little things that you really need to pick yourself up on, uh, when you are, you know, thinking negatively and you've got to think of it in a different light. So once I did that, I was just thinking about, it. I had, I had my stuff that I, that I was going to buy. And then all of a sudden, you know, this girl came out of nowhere. She was with her boyfriend and she just started talking to me and, you know, pretty much uh, we chatted from about midway through the line all the way to the end of the line and it, we had a great conversation. She was telling me a bit about herself and I was telling her a bit about myself and, you know, it really turned, it was really funny to think of it in the sense that as soon as I started thinking positively, it was like something around me attracted another person to me and they started talking to me and she started talking to me out of nowhere. Like I was just, I was just in the line, you know, minding my own business and she just came out of nowhere. So it really... And, and stuff like that I really believe in, like this whole, this whole, I guess, law of attraction kind of thing. If you do have a positive aura, it will attract other people. So I started talking to her and then pretty much after that, the, um, the line started, you know, moving more. The line to pay started moving and it pretty much happened to be that I got out of the line. I paid and got out of the line and left the merch booth at two o'clock. It was like one past two. And then the console 20 thing was right next to the merch booth anyway. So ended up getting in there and then I um, ended up, you know, uh, cause I was already enrolled for the, for my spot in the tournament. And then I ended up getting into the tournament and I got to play in it. And if you didn't know, I ended up winning the tournament two times back to back console 20 champion. But yeah, it just, it just really goes to, to show you guys, you know, that there's no need at all to, to look you know, even at little things with negative light, and I always make sure that I catch myself on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, um, going out there, and if I have a negative view on things, or if I'm getting stressed, or if I'm, even if it's just little things, I make sure that I, that I um, pick myself up on it, and, you know, I, I change my way of thinking, so this video is probably going to be a little bit shorter, I'm, I'm, I'm going to end it in a second, because um, I just want to tell you guys a little story I want to tell you guys that yeah, it's really um, it's really worth looking at your thoughts and and really being strict on the way that you think because it's so helpful when it comes to your day to day life, when it comes to your relationships, when it comes to business. It's helped me so much, especially especially in terms of relationships and business. Just thinking strictly and um, making sure you catch yourself out on um, if you're having you know you know if you're having thoughts or complaining to yourself in your own mind, it really really helps. So if you ever do get to a point in the day or if you're in a if you're in a period of your life where you know you're having harder days or anything like that just remember to to go through and and really think about it sounds weird but think about what you're thinking about and if they are negative and if they are you know complaints and they're not more so gratitude the biggest thing out of this is to have gratitude with everything so if you if it's not gratitude and you are complaining make sure to pick yourself up on it and make sure to to really um you know be strict about it and and really be strict on the way that you think and the way you change your thoughts because it really can help it sounds silly it sounds pretty you know even sounds simple it sounds like it might not be anything in particular might not be anything important but it's one of the most important things if you are strict on the way that you think if you're strict on the way that you're thinking you know when it comes to positivity and when it comes to you know everything else around your life especially in the brain it is the biggest thing that for you and i think that's pretty much that's pretty much it that's me rattled off i am a bit tired so my, my train of thoughts been going off in this video but i wanted to get this video out here and like i said like i said to you guys 
there will be more tactical Amazon videos coming out very, very soon. I am working on the 4.0 update. If you guys are in the course and you are wondering about that, I am working on the update. I've got the list together, got some other stuff I want to add to it, and then I'll start filming and start editing and, and start rolling it out from there. But that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to probably go and take a nap, get some food, and then maybe go to sleep. Who knows? Might go for a walk in the city later after, after a nap. Who knows? But I'm so tired right now. But um, if you guys like this video, give it a like and um, you know sub to the channel if you haven't. I hope this video helped you out as well when it comes to mental stuff because I really want to start talking about this mental game a lot more because it's very, very important. A lot of people struggle with it. But apart from that, guys, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. See you guys in the next video. And like I said, I'll be bring, bringing more tactical Amazon videos out very, very soon. But I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you guys very soon.